Community Development Associations and Community Development Committees cannot be overemphasized. They are vibrant, accurate in preferring common resolutions to communal problems. This is why the Lagos State Governor is partnering with Community Development Associations for evil development in the state. Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Adejo Kenshudendi Adinyojo. How is your community faring today? Let's see. Community Development Associations in Lagos State have started enjoying the dividends of democracy through ongoing road rehabilitation of Governor Babajide Sonwolu, which can be seen across the nooks and crannies of the state. Across the five divisions of the state, men of Lagos State Public Works Corporation are seen on site, fixing the most vulnerable part of the roads and reducing the stress of commuters to its barest minimum. Further complement the agenda of Governor Sonwolu, Lagos Community Update visits Olabisi Olonfumi Estate CDA in the heart of Olushusun under Onigbongo Local Council Development Area in Ikeja to get feedback from residents. The community is made up of three major streets and their extensions Azan Street, Ademola Alabi Street, and Shodipo Street. With highly residential and serene environment, Olabisi Olonfumi Estate is part of the numerous CDAs in the state that are already reaping the benefit of the ongoing road rehabilitation. In December 2020, members of the Lagos State Public Works Corporation fixed the road on Azan Street, which serves as the only entrance that leads to the community. Members of Olabisi Olonfumi Estate CDA explained their ordeals on the road before they got government intervention, which was facilitated by the active participation of members of the CDA. Before the government touched it, um, every um, landlord have to try and purchase our front before it's been motorable for vehicles. If you bought a vehicle to take you down to your street, the vehicle owner will complain that the place is rough, we cannot move in, we cannot do that. Instead of charging you little amounts, they will charge you high. Now that the road has been fixed, members and commuters have a sigh of relief. The community people are thankful to Governor Sawolu for extending good governance to their community as the road would bring more development in the community. This is the only road that leads to all the streets in this community. So you can imagine, without this street, this particular road here, you can't go to Shodipo, you can't go to Ademola Labi, you can't go to other streets, there are other streets in the area. It has brought a lot of relief, a lot of relief. Because after the road has been constructed, you know, many construction are coming and people are building their houses that they have left over some years now. As you can see, there's a construction going on. And if you go inside, there is an extension over there. There's a construction also going on. It's because of the construction of the road. And any 
uh, development in any area like that, the road construction is the most very important aspect. Once the roads are being constructed, definitely there will be development because roads bring development. In any community, if you don't have good road, the house you built will not uh, appreciate. But as the road is being tired, people that are renting house, they are okay, uh, at least uh, if you come to my estate, you will see the extension of a um, beautiful road and everything. So I think the cost of living here is a bit okay for people who want to rent. Unlike before, that um, if you tell them this amount, they will beat it down to the extent that maybe you don't have um, a good road. But as the road is now springing up, the value of um, houses here are, are okay. In recent time, a lot of the influx of a lot of people coming in, you know, to rent, to also look at okay, staying in this community because it's more more improved now, not like before anymore. So uh, that is why I say economically, this uh, 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 um, community has improved. Vehicles have been moving fine, and uh, it has uh, improved uh, the economic well-being of this uh, community. But want to say that we go on to buy the go to buy the lona or a gebe atun yato. I want yao ati want tagala dubo ati want want she amu yan lati lima waliwa lati lima jadi kwaluro. We go on to buy dubo no. O jero no fun lati le jadi lati le lati le wali. O jai wuri bu po preto ah. E wa lo wuri justin wa. O jai wuri bu po ba. E wa lo wa dubo wa ba. E ba ti rio o se free ha. O se fi talk a yupe ya and do pe for long wa de do pe fun ijoba baba jide san wo lu ko lo akoba ba kun won ni owo community leaders promise to take full ownership of the road as they explain what they are doing to prevent the road from getting damaged anything the government do for us i see the maintenance is the key word for us to to take to take note of we have to maintain the roads both cleaning and we make sure the vehicle are not parked anyhow on the street and they don't pour oil on it. Well, these are one of those things that used to, to, to spoil the roads. They, 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 they have to take a proper monitoring about the road so that the government itself will be happy that ah, this is one of the roads we did, it's still on. We have to employ uh, somebody that should be sweeping it every three, three days. And then we make sure that all the heavy, heavy vehicles that normally come here to supply uh, granite and sand, we make sure we want them. And then we, we make sure that we police them very well. So at present, we, are still, we still continue to be monitoring everybody. Why appreciating Lagos State Government for remembering their community for good? Members of Olabisi Olonfumi Estate CDA called the attention of the governor to show Dipo Street, which they said, if done, would further relieve the people of the community and give joy to the people. We have showed Dipo too. Already we thank them for the azan that they have worked on for us. So if you can get their uh, support to do other places too. This community will look like a, a mini London. If you enter and you say the community has changed, by the time you turn to the left or you go straight down, you'll be amazed what is there. But if government can come to our aid to do that for us, it's going to be another world on its own. We thank the government for his satisfaction on the streets of uh, Hazan. We are now begging the government to please extend his hand to show the equal close. I really appreciate uh, Governor Baba Jide Sonwolu for this uh, laudable uh, uh, job that is done in this community. I really want to appreciate him. And uh, I know that it's not only in this community. I know it spreads across Lagos and he's been doing wonderfully well. I, I, I also like to encourage him to do more because the people are also seeing the dividend of democracy and uh, what we've uh, voted him for is doing it. I can be happy that I am living uh, in a very good environment. I can now proud that I am living in an estate where things are in order. 
So, and our road they have just done of recent makes me to be more happier that it is true now that I am living in the place. So I give kudos to Lagos State Government who has really remember us that we are here. I would like to say a big thank you, a big, big, big thank you to our governor because he has been doing a lot. We see other places, what is going on in other communities too, what they have been doing there and we also want him to come and do the same thing here. So we say a big thank you to, uh, thank you to him. We will do no development. We go out to Lagos. Never had in Lagos. I'm a go go no the land if we see we are not just that. So we will do no development yes. So we will do no development yes. When it over the land by who? When it's over the land by who? When it's development yeah. Don't be in the Lagos. So we will do the land. We will do the land. Eh! Governor Gidi ni lo du Lagos. Do you want? population of 23 million people. Lagos no doubt is the economic capital of West Africa. Economic expert says it is a land of opportunities where communities thrive with minimal efforts from members to create conducive environment for residents. One of such communities that mirrors this on Sleeping City is in Ifako Ijaye local government area. This is Amni Estate Community. Just like the stories of many communities in the early days, surmountable challenges dotted Amoni's landscape. Then came the question of what to do. Everywhere was undeveloped. There were practically no roads. Even where there are roads, they were not tarred. Generally, the facilities were not available as of 2005. Even the main road, the road that leads into the estate was untarred with so many gallops and life wasn't too good. It wasn't comfortable. When we came here, I think we have only the access road as a tired, but not that you have all those kind of a rough, rough road, but it's a, that's the only one that we can say has some tiring, which was wearing off then. Establishing a community development association to confront the age-long problem was the only weapon left to fight for self-development. I moved into this environment in 2005. Harmony CDA was registered in 2009. In the Fakoja, local government, right now we don't have landlord association anymore. We have registered CDAs. And right now we are over 100, we are almost 115 now. We are increasing daily. People are ready to register with the Lagos State government because they are enticing, they are supporting. At the beginning, the journey to self reliant looks impossible, but the leaders were not deterred. The CDA little moved to be a toast of many. When I came in here, there was no road tarred. It's all at the right. So we have all the roads in the estate that are today tarred. Drainages are made. We have uh, street lights, securities there 24-7. First was to construct good road network in the nooks and crannies within the community to replace the footpath used in time past. We took it upon ourselves some years ago to go on self help and we started with developmental projects, roads, street lights, and so many other you know, projects that impact positively on the life of residents. Almost all the roads have been tarred. We did it with our money, self-effort. 
We are very, very excited. We are happy that we've been able to achieve our goal. Well, I'm very happy to be seeing this area every day because the development is always moving on. The school, they are trying, they are trying, they, they are every time, every year. And I really used to appreciate what they are doing. I really like it. The roads project, I was told, helped improve the commercial value of the CDA. When we moved in here several years ago, a plot of land is sold for 600,000, 300,000. Today, even though all the lands are sold out, about two, three years ago, a plot of land is sold here for 30 million, 40 million. Why? Because of the development. 80% of Lagos is covered by water. It is therefore not surprising that most communities are always at the mercy of flooding when it rains. How did Amni Estate achieve a flood-free community? If you look at where we are standing, the topography here, which is almost like everywhere in the estate, is a bit slopey. And so when rain falls, apart from the one that comes through the drain on both sides, even on the road, it washes down. And so when I came in, this fence be behind you, that is facing me, fell after a very heavy rainfall. Now, this place is very close to Agege. Now, what that meant was that once this fence went down, anyone could access here. Thank God we have uh, world-class engineers who live among us. They had to bring in their expertise, and then we had to dig the drain from this side deeper, and then we had to do a cast because initially it was just block work. So they had to do a cast and design in such a way that even if this water were to come heavier than what came before and it hits the wall, it's not just hitting block wall, it's eating cast concrete that has been cast. And this came up in less than a week. And because of this proactiveness, the residents have this trust that a lot of people pay their dues even before they are asked to because they see what their money is being used for. Prior to now, the estate had been confronted with epileptic electricity supply. But the community leaders took it upon themselves to change all the wooden poles in the community to more than ones. This has not only turned the estate into a mini tourist center, it has contributed to massive influx of people into the CDA. I'm going to say where we are standing now. When you are talking about project, when you are talking about security, when you are talking about um, uh, on road, how they are the best in Fakojai. That's why I have interest to come and be here today, to come and witness what's going on. You can see where we are standing now. The third road here being done by the CDA, eh, this Amuni estate. If you go inside and see more things they are doing there, they are great. They are not lacking behind and they are cooperating with the CDC in Fakojai, local government. By now, we have virtually tarred all the roads in the estate. Um, we have not only tied the roads, we have made sure that the roads are constantly maintained. As a matter of fact, we just finished uh, the maintenance for this year. We also discovered that we need to put street lights in all the streets, at least to complement what we have done in terms of de development and constructing the roads. So we've spent huge money to put street lights on all the streets so that at night the security of the community can also be guaranteed. Besides paving and asphalting roads in the community, the executive members of Harmony Estate CDA equally expended millions of naira to light up the community and also employ security personnel to safeguard lives and properties. We have a collective security, those that watch by day and those by, that watch by night. That has helped a lot to calm nerves here and we can, by God's grace, to sleep with both eyes closed. Everything here was done by communal effort by members of the community, right? Being galvanized by the ESCO, subsequent ESCOs. Um, of course, electricity. Now, the estate just built, if you look around our posts, we just install street lights to help illuminate here at night. As soon as we notice potholes, we move in and try to seal 
those up. As soon as we discover that our security people are not doing well enough, we have committees, subcommittees that look after each and every part of this. And so um, I will tell you that a lot of us moved in here and refused to move out. Through collaborative efforts, they were also able to put in place the CDA's office for administrative purpose. This community is one of the communities that have a standard office for the day-to-day -day running and administration of our community development. In front of us there is the Chief Security Officer's office in front of us. And here is the Estate Office. We have a, secret a secretary who is employed and who resumes work at 8 a.m. every day. We have all our stationaries here, we have our computers, we have all our books, we keep records of every payment that is made and every money that is spent. Records are kept and then no dime is spent without going through at least four people for approval. We keep our, our money in the bank and we don't spend any money without going to the bank. According to the CDA, government cannot be everywhere at the same time due to limited resources. Hence, the need to partner with the government to put in place necessary facilities in the community. It is not possible for government to be everywhere. We are aware of uh, the limited resources of government. So we decided that since we are the ones occupying this community and we are the first respondents in terms of enjoyment of the community. So we decided that why don't we come together, put resources together, develop the communities since the community belongs to us and then also um, it's also another way of helping the government to make sure that everywhere is developed. We know that the government alone cannot do everything. We know that we have to put in efforts. We have all the roads in the estate tied, either asphalted or stone paved. We have drains everywhere. And uh, we have the street light, which we did just very recently. And uh, for now, it's, uh, Harmony Estate is a place that everybody wants to come to because of the development that have sprung up uh, in the last uh, few years. They appreciated the Lagos State Government for the honor done on the CDA during the 2020 Community Day celebration. To be awarded as the fourth CDA in the whole of Lagos State, it's a great um, encouragement and it has gone a long way to energize us to do more. So because it shows that even outside the estate, some people are looking at us, particularly the government, and they are happy with what we are doing. Obviously, communities in Lagos State are not resting on their OS to make their areas habitable. What are you doing to change the narrative in your area? I leave you to answer this question. With that, we wrap up today's episode of Lagos Community Update. Remember, you can join our social media platforms for comments and suggestions. And in case you have projects or programs in your communities, do call the numbers on your screen. I am Made Joker Shoden Adenyoju. Till I come your way again next time.